in 1986, the Clintons found out about this. And Bill and Hillary both came to me and said, we want to be there that day. Get us there. Well, we joked. Alice, can you imagine back in 1986, Bill Clinton and us, all of the guys that were on the kitchen cabinet and him saying he wanted to be president? And we're going, oh, yeah, sure, of course. Well, we devised a plan to make him president, but we figured the womanizing and all that stuff would get him. So it was a joke. But we started looking at reality. If we ever got him there, if he couldn't cash in FEMA when he was president, then you had four out years, which were the years when his term ended and then Hillary would run. Well, you know what happened? She got beat by Obama because she didn't follow our playbook. She's following it now. That's why I can tell you every second what Hillary's doing. I can tell you, don't worry about all of this email stuff, except all of this sudden, in comes Alec, the FBI. Now, remember, Obama just appoints a new head of the Justice Department, a new director, you know, the attorney general. And all of a sudden, this attorney general sits the FBI on these FBI files. Now, Alex, let's tell the truth about that, buddy. Number one, if they prosecute Hillary over the FBI or over the emails, it'll never happen. Because, you see, if they prosecute her over that, Alex, then she's going to say, well, then I've got to use these classified emails as my defense. Well, when she says that, then the federal judge is going to say, well, you can't use that stuff as your defense. And then, therefore, he's going to throw the case out. He has to throw the case out. The Clintons know this. But there's one thing laying right there. Obama's got Biden getting in that race. They're going to kick Hillary down and kick her down. And if they can get Biden in, Alex, it's over. I'm running for president. Everyday Americans need a champion, and I want to be that champion. I'm hitting the road to earn your vote, and I hope you'll join me on this journey. This is an American president. Just add puppet, then vote and repeat every four years. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Vote for Jeb, or you're just fucking stupid. Fool me, we can't get fooled again. Brain force is here. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been on this the last few months. You probably noticed I've been more crazed, more focused, less brain fog, more energy, more special reports, and it's because of brain force. We kept changing this formula over and over and over again until it became sort of a grand puzzle. For example, the L-theanine inside of it, that is activated by the different compounds in the yerba mate that we put inside of it as well. This just increases the compounds you already have. This is what you're actually designed to run on. Exactly. It's kind of like a car will run on one form of junkie gas, but it runs really good on what it's designed for. And that's the principle of InfoWars Life, as far as I understand, that you've always had, is that it's not about synthetic chemicals and forcing actions, it's about letting your body do its own thing and giving your body the tools it needs to create these different compounds that are super valuable and super beneficial. You will find Brain Force and other game-changing products at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. I wanted to bring Weldon Henson in here briefly because we have a great sponsor. Boy, I've sure been enjoying the firearms that I've gotten from them, hdfirearms.com. That's Head Down Firearms. They have super high quality 223s, 308, you name it. It's called 556, technically, in the 223, that are guns that would be $3,000 or $1,500. Guns that would be $1,500 or $900. Well, the important thing to remember is that if you're not in the market to buy a brand new rifle, you have an AR-15, you have an AR-10 platform 308 rifle. They've got everything you need to upgrade it. Buy a new part, buy a new trigger, buy a new muzzle brake, buy a new handrail. It's all an upgrade for your rifle because these are all superior top-of-the-line quality products made in America. 
tell folks uh, about their low profile series. Well, this is an important thing to have. This is untraceable. You, anybody can get this kit right here. You don't have to go through a, a federal firearms license place. Uh, you can have it shipped right to your house. This is what the traders have been trying to shut down. Absolutely. So you basically have everything you need besides a lower receiver because that's what's traceable, that's what's serialized, and that's what the, the federal government's after. But uh, you can get this right here. Get your own lower receiver any way you want. There's different programs. All you got to do is your own research, and you can find out how to get a lower receiver so that you can put it on this. Maybe you already have a lower receiver from an AR from way back that you just don't quite use anymore, it's old, something like that. You can throw it on this, you basically have a brand new rifle and you saved money by putting it together yourself and buying this kit right here, which is cheaper than the actual rifle. And they've got the highest quality barrels, the highest quality triggers. We're not just saying that, go look at the third party reviews. Tell them about the new rifle they're producing that's getting amazing reviews. And then I just got one, this 308. Yes, that is very... Arcadius. Arcadius, that's very exciting. They just came out with their own line of um, AR-10 platforms, which is basically an AR-15, but instead of it being a 5.56, it shoots a 308 round, which I know you personally like shooting a 308. Um, I like them both. I mean, just to be clear, they've always for years been making this for the big manufacturers, the high end. They're just absolutely. now not private labeling. They're putting out their own guns. Yes. Well, the one they sent you, I'm actually jealous of, is a beautiful gun. Um, it's set up and configured for long-range shooting, marksmanship type things. Just the scope alone is something to <laughs> snuggle with. It, yeah, it's a Vortex 4x16 scope, which you can get a head down as well, their distributor. Um, and and a thing, things for people to remember is that if you want a 308, you don't have to get the 18-inch barrel. You don't have to get the 22-inch barrel. You don't have to get it set up for marksmanship. You can get one with a 16-inch barrel that's set up for more of an assault weapon type you know, uh, uh, configuration. So anything you want, people just call head down. You can get anything you want made there. And any configuration you might want on your rifle, they're they're able to do that. And they have 100% perfect customer service ratings there. Bottom line, it's not just firearms, a ton of accessories, very affordable, and it supports the info war. If you're not shopping at hdfirearms.com, you're not helping the info war. I mean, this is a win-win. Thank you all for your support. Check them out today. Thank you, Weldon. All right, strap yourselves in. We have 30 more minutes of the show today. This is the live fourth hour of the Alex Jones Show. I'm your host, Rob Dew, riding shotguns, Jakari Jackson. We also have Joe Biggs. Joe's going to give us some updates on this shooting in Fox Lake. Uh, Joe, you were listening in on the police scanner. What is going on there? So there's a lot of stuff going on. They have essentially the entire town on lockdown, like martial law. Mm -hmm. They've got that whole area. The, the schools, the local schools are shut down. And uh, from what I've been hearing on the police scanner, the police are going into neighborhoods. They're scanning and looking at the license plates and then matching it with the address on the registration to see if that vehicle belongs in that driveway. And then from there, they're going in and looking at the homes. There's nothing Orwellian about that. By no, negative. I mean, that, that's there. That's what's supposed <clears throat> to happen. So it's much like we, like you mentioned earlier, what we saw in Watertown, Massachusetts, with the Boston bombing, the door-to-door -door searching, going through, and all that. So. If you live in Fox Lake and you might have a warrant out there and you have nothing to do with this, it's probably not going to be a safe place for you to be today. Wow. Anybody out there, you got to think anyone out there who's been laying low under the radar, it's all going to come to light today. Yeah, boy, that is definitely uh, a crazy situation. That's pretty unprecedented that they would scan the license plate. I mean, there's a no-fly zone. Yeah, if you go and drop your kids off at the babysitter, you know, you just happen to be in the driveway at that time. Then yeah. You know, come. Oh yeah, there's a I lot. Mean, of, there's a lot of different instances. They're, they're not playing around. ATF just tweeted out that they've arrived on scene, so the ATF there. Uh, U.S. Marshals as well, uh, SWAT team, local police department, all the police departments in that area, the different counties have come together and kind of help in this search. They've The helicopters are in the air. Uh, the guys are in the full uh, riot gear like we saw in Ferguson, the guys in the green, you know. Mm -hmm. So the same thing, everything's it's a very tense situation. Uh, I'll be surprised if they catch these people tonight, but for sure, probably by tomorrow morning. You got to think after these guys, three people trying to stay together, running from the cops, they're going to get tired. Uh, we'll see yeah, what happens. They're going to get sloppy and eventually get caught. Well, because this is something that I don't think was planned out. Like, Houston was an execution. This guy was on the hunt for a lone cop. He found him, shot him, killed him. This happened to be a situation around 8 a.m. The cop saw a, a vehicle, was acting suspicious. The people inside, he pulled him over, called for backup. And uh, I just found out too earlier that the cops were so close trying to get to him, they could actually hear the gunfire happen when he was shot. They found him dead in a marsh with his gun missing. And... Uh, uh, pepper spray and maybe some other equipment, you know, handcuffs, tasers, whatever he had on him. So that's all been taken. So that's currently going on right now. Wow. And you also mentioned there was a, an instance where um, a female cop had seen blood in an abandoned car. 
And what? what yeah, they, they 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 saw. Uh, I, th I think it was like an abandoned house, mm -hmm. and there was an SUV parked. It was a red SUV, and she went in by herself, looking around, and saw drops of blood. And then another police officer eventually showed up, and I'm sitting here like watching a horror movie, like, "Hey, lady, don't go in there by yourself. What are you doing? What are you doing?" <laughs> so it, it's definitely intense. I and I advise people, hey, if you got a police scanner, listen in to what's going on. Yeah, it's still legal to do at this point, um, but I'm sure they will soon eventually. Uh, cut that off. Here's an interesting story out of the New York Times, and this is um, in Budapest right now in Hungary. They're having, th this seems to be like the thoroughfare for all the immigrants who are coming from Africa and the Middle East. They go through uh, Budapest to get to Western Europe. And basically the train station has now cut off service to the migrants amid the crisis. And the migrants are protesting. They want their free ride into Western Europe. Uh, a lot of them are going into Germany and then they're going into camps. They're being set up in these uh, relocation camps where they well, can do all the uh, the paperwork to find out if they're going to get asylum or not. Well, wow. kind of like the little camps they set up uh, during the whole Ebola scare with the, uh, the immigration influx that happened last summer. All these different places were popping up. They were buying those old hotels. They were setting up these FEMA camp type things, buying prisons and all that, and then holding them in there, you know, on our dollar. But it's funny because Donald Trump comes out and says, you know, that everyone coming from Mexico over in here is a, a murderer, a killer, a rapist, a criminal of some sort, and that uh, the fact that Donald Trump wants to build this uh, wall is racist. But if you look at the southern border of Mexico, they have a giant wall that goes across. They think the, that a wall is a good idea, too. So I think that's kind of uh, a little bit out there. Yeah, and yeah, well, I think there's a lot of, I don't know if he said everybody is, but there, I, don't, I think there's better ways to patrol that area than using a wall. I think we have I the agree. technology. The autonomous drone that, that Glenn Spencer came up with, the seismic technology that could exactly. read the, exactly. sense someone that. coming through. Oh, I, I see someone coming through the studio uh, right now. Crashing He's crashing the show. <laughs> Alex. <clears throat> you need a fourth microphone in here. No, no, I actually came in here yep. to get my cell phone. I gave, gave it to it. one of the guys. Okay, Here's good, your good, good, good. Oh, your keys are okay. in uh, Anthony's office. Great, I got my crap everywhere. <laughs> no, no, no. I just watched the video that I'm going to perch on on uh, Jakari's shoulder right here. I just came and watched the video, and um, Darren McBreen is in there blowing it up yeah. of the shooting in San Antonio. And I was reading. They never charged those cops. This went on a while ago. I'm glad the station released it. Those That cop executes that guy that had done nothing yeah. with his hands up. This is why people are angry. Just like I'm angry if you execute a cop, or if you execute, you know, a pot-bellied guy down in San Antonio, this is crazy. It works both and, ways. And, I mean, beyond your, but that's what people are so upset about. But we can't let the globalists channel that into an explosion. But at the same time, man, th that is just insane. Well, they came out earlier, you know, and said the whole hands up, don't shoot thing was a lie with Michael Brown. So now I guess they have something that they can actually say and use. But I wonder if well, they will Now it's hands up, this. we're going to shoot. But I mean, oh, yeah. the guy's hands, he's standing there still. He yeah. makes no movement. His hands are up. And they kill him, and the cops act like it's no big deal. Right. He's blowing the video up right now. Okay. Uh, but Yeah, the, we're going to have it tonight on the They're trying news. to get this video taken down. The police department's put an announcement out of the sheriff's department. They're trying to get this pulled right they're now. They're going to try to report it and flag it on everyone's site that has it up. It's ridiculous. That's what they're doing. They they have troll armies now that they're they're running out there. And if you put anything up that the establishment doesn't like, they sit there and say, this violates community guidelines. I feel yeah, offended by this. Yeah, straight. Just because we're not for executing police, we're not for a war with police, we also don't support the police being an armed gang of thugs. And, and that's what we talked about, how this is a self-fulfilling prophecy. Anytime a cop gets shot and they start rolling out this martial law scenario, this just so see, we need this. We need tanks. Mm -hmm. We have to have this, well, this that's apparatus. What, and that's what the criminals the don't people. understand. The more and more they do this stuff, the more and more these guys are going to beef up their security. Oh, yeah. And like right. you said, there's going to be an MRAP on every corner versus... Uh, you know, a Ford, a uh, Taurus, whatever they have. And it's not going to be about protective service. It's going to be pure revenue generation. Exactly, because they have to put gas in these giant uh, MRAPs. Oh, it's, uh, it's a very expensive, too. <laughs> and, and I just read uh, City of Chicago is suing their red light camera maker that they bought the cameras from and set up to revenue generate because they don't work and people weren't paying their tickets. So now they're suing that company for $300 million, which I kind of feel bad for the company because... No, no, but it's all unlawful. You oh, it is. Right the summons. Exactly. There has to be a witness. The red lights are yeah. illegal. Yeah. Red oh, totally. Really oh, yeah. Whenever yeah. I get something like that, I throw it in the trash can and say, see me in court. I'm not going to do that. I'm not paying that. Yeah. But what, what you have, though, you have a company who says we have a need. <laughs> there's a need for these red light cameras, which there really isn't. But they make it. The city goes after it because they're so greedy and they want to have they're like, we, we want to have uh, all this revenue. So we're just going to put them up everywhere and just screw people over. And then when people 
revolt and say, you know, hey, we're pushing the cameras. We're putting Easter eggs on top of the cameras. We're not going to pay the tickets. Well, then they go, wait a minute. We spent a ton of money on this, and now it's